welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday the 27th. Oh, I'm winking. Hi. <laughs> welcome to Gemstone Tarot. <laughs> I'm winking. Um, Tuesday 27th of September 2022. I used to have an open fire, which this seems completely like a non sequitur, which it is. I used to have an open fire, which was marvellous. It was like Victorian. It was everything you think it would be. Like you could sit there and lob oranges in the grate and all that. Anyway, it was condemned. The chimney was condemned. So I now have a new wood burner. So if I seem a bit flustered, it's because the wood burner is kind of painted with some sort of, smells like car paint. So I've been told that we've got to like burn, burn it off. So I've literally been shoveling coal into this thing and it's like raging hot. And now I've come up to do the reading. So I'm a, a little bit all of a kerfuffle. If anyone has any tips for how to stop a new wood burner from stinking, every time you have a fire in it, it smells like hot car paint. Yeah, so I'm just, oh, anyway, that's enough of me moaning about my, my wood burner like a Victorian lady needing smelling salts. Um, we've got a new deck here. We've got the Oracles by Livy Bove. And I'll be honest with you, I ordered it a while ago. I think I ordered it off Etsy. I can't remember. This is exciting, isn't it? I can't remember. See, it's still in its packet. I can't remember um, what it looks like. Or, or actually, do you know what? Anything about it. This is the good part of having a brain a bit like a goldfish. Um, is that, you know, when things come through the post, it's like, wow, how did that happen? Well, at one point, I must have looked at this and thought, that's a bit of all right. People at Gemstone Tarot is going to like that. So, shall we open it? I'm just putting some hand cream on for the event. Warming my hands up, getting some prana going, as Yoga with Adrienne would say. Just a little bit of prana. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. Right. Let's biddly bop, let's fiddly biddly widdly bop. And then we'll do a reading from the card. Still got the old witch's broom mug, still don't mug. Don't know how to really display that properly. So this is the Oracles by Liv Libby Bove. And this is the book. First edition, 2022. So we're in like Flynn people. And here is, if you wanna check her out, at Libby Bove Arts. Me being me, I think that might be the email address. I don't know. I actually don't know how it works. It's done very old fashionedly, the book, which I quite like. Like a bit of a, if you were doing a poetry collection, it kind of looks like that. It's got a slight look of, what's he called? Like that one there. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, I can't remember. If it comes to me, I'll tell you. That's the artwork anyway. I like it. Uh, don't have a website thing here, but I'm sure if you Googled her, oh, here we are, libbybove.com. Libbybove.com, shall we? Shall we? Black tissue paper as well. Just black tissue paper with brown card and brown tape. This is very minimalist. I'm not normally very minimalist. I can't be, I'm just too messy. Ooh, ooh, these are nice. ka -ching. Now, cardstock is not great, but with Oracle cards, it doesn't matter so much because I don't know what, they don't get as hammered as tarot cards. Oh God, they're so good though. They're a little bit unusual and I felt like they were a little bit magical as well. Oof. That is this side. Shwing. Aren't they gorgeous? Right, I'm going to do three of these so that we get to look at the pack for a start and we get a reading. Still got the stink of car paint <laughs> going on. I may be a little bit high actually. I'm just like, oh my God, what is that? Okay, what do we need to know? Libby Bove, the oracles. Oh, nice. They remind me of an artist. 
Oh, God. Oh, God, people, it's going to be big, as the actress said to the bishop. They are autumnal though. Do you know what? I bet I chose these when I was on my must find some autumnal cards thing. Okay. We have the quartet. The wretched broth. <laughs> How can we have one called the wretched broth? I was obviously quite into this at the time. I'd be like, yes, the wretched broth. They're going to love this one. They can't get enough of it. Gemma, spread the joy. Hello, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your panini breakfast. Here's the wretched broth. And then the mother. God, sup up, enjoy your tea. Let's have a look, shall we? I mean, let's have a think, actually, before we have a look. Obviously, I'm getting mother vibes, empress vibes, all that kind of stuff. And the quartet has a family look to it. Um, I'm kind of getting an Oliver Twisty gruel thing going. Oh, my God. Right. Let's just see. Let's just see. The quartet. Collaboration, teamwork and cooperation. Friendship and togetherness. A reminder to embrace your differences, maybe with the feminine is what I'm saying, maybe with the mother, um, and to search for creative ways to solve problems. This is probably very good for me today. A rat-a-tat on a cold winter's night. Four rosy faces inhale a breath as one. They begin to sing their strange song. Some sing high, some sing low, some sing from a different sheet of the hymn book. It's like nothing ever heard before, but it works. My cast, my hair stinks of car paint. Okay, I think this could represent a group of friends, the family unit, or a group of colleagues, um, or people at work, or even past family relationships. Shall we go in at the wretched broth? Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Come hither, let's look. Disappointment. You dive excitedly into a tin of beans. I'm not sure I ever really dive excitedly into a tin of beans. Your high hopes of a fine lunch are quickly dashed when you discover the contents are wriggling with worms. The initial shock of repulsion followed by contemplation. Were your expectations too high? Have they been made on false pretenses? Maybe it's time to throw caution to the wind socks. What's that? Lower the standards and make a hearty meal out of a can of worms. I think this is pretty obvious, actually. The card is about turning a, a bad situation into something mildly palatable. Ernest pro prompting you to harness your resourcefulness and ingenuity. Make the best of a bad broth. So we're talking, I think, for some of us, where we've come from, family situations, maybe what happened at school. It can be what happened in any kind of human friendship group. And possibly with some of us with the mother figure, okay? And it's ah, learning to like. Learning, I'm trying to think of what my equivalent of the wretched broth is because I've made plenty of wretched broths in my time. I did once make a beef stew and I heard that you needed, if you put tomato in, that you should put sugar in. And I put like enough sugar <laughs> like that, that you almost would put in a fairy cake. And I made a sweet beef stew. That was awful. That was a wretched broth. So yeah, let me know in the comment section about your experiences, please, of the wretched broth. Okay, we have the mother. I mean, the mother is the mother, but also when is a mother not a mother? Let's have a look. That might be a message for some of you as well. When is the mother not a mother? Oh God, I can't even find it here. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh, yeah, I found it. Care, nurturing and interdimensional love. There's the picture. On a warm summer's night, there's a love that knows no bounds. The mother love symbolises love and protection, be it through familial relationships or those we forge ourselves. 
unconditional love from one to another. This love spans dimensions, stretching over the fabric of the universe into ethers we cannot understand. Those we cannot hold in our arms, we hold in other ways. This is important. We do so through memories, smells, stories, songs. The mother surfaces to remind us that this love exists and to hold it within us wherever we roam. Gosh, this is quite a deep reading, isn't it, people? Um, let me know what you think of these. I rather like them. I'm feeling like for some of us, this is a situation and for a lot of us, it's very deep seated and Mercury is retrograde and these things do come up and they do happen when you get, um, when you get the Mercury bomb, basically. And Shannon, get well soon, because I read your comment today as well. Get well, look after yourself, stay warm, have chicken, have some chicken broth, but not wretched broth, please. Just, yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, and all of you, this is maybe, it may only be a couple of hours in your day. It may just be a fleeting moment you wake up at night and are in the horrors, you know, in that kind of <gasps> going back to the past or a flashback to the past. And it just feels like an ability to be able to get a perspective on something. An ability to be able to see the good in something without making it a whole tea towel moment because you can't. You know, I'm very, very grateful for the wretched broth, you know, not that. But just, I can see how there's something good in this too. I may not know what it is yet, but I'm curious to find out. So probably one today for those of you that may be feeling a bit <coughs> blue or a little bit mixed up, or even just a little bit mercuried, you know. May, it comes to this point, I think, where are we, 20... Seventh, it comes to this point, yeah, we're not far off, where you're only really a week away from it, kind of get stationed and then stationing and then going direct. And you start to feel impatient. It's like a bad house guest at this point. I mean, house guests are supposed to be like dairy products, you know, they go off after three days. <laughs> that's that's my mantra. Um, but yeah, this one's probably outstayed its welcome and and also it gets to the point where it's too painful to stay the same. You you learn the lesson, you, you do the stuff. This is a bit of an interesting reading. Please leave me a comment because I want to know how it resonates with you. And yeah, check out your monthlies and also come and join us on the Gem Stars. And I'll be very interested to know what you think of this Oracle deck. I'll see you soon. Namaste.